Hey friends, Poetic playing Subnautica Below Zero, and I wanted to talk about one of the, to me, one of the largest drawbacks in the game, uh, and a step backwards in quality from the original Subnautica, and that is with the scan rooms. So I'm going to set this up to look for these Galena outcroppings. The problem that I've encountered with scan rooms in Subnautica Below Zero is false positives. And I mean dozens of false positives. So you can see right now we've got uh, one Galena outcrop there and one over there. And a third one should be popping up very soon. Oh, there it is. Okay. So, what I've encountered is that it will show nodes that don't exist. There's nothing there, just empty space. It will mislabel nodes that are of completely different elements. And it will tag empty nodes that I've already collected. There is no way to deactivate these false positives. So. Here's another issue that I really, really don't like. So, you start out with these fins. That's the basic fin. It enhances your swim speed by 15%. You have a chance to upgrade to swim charge fins, which charge your handheld tool while you swim. Oh, that's great, I thought. I'll be able to swim 15% faster and charge my fin, and charge my tool, right? wrong so here I am swimming with the regular fence moving along it's a little bit faster when I put on the swim charge fins I'm now slower like why did you remove the 15% speed bonus that's not really helpful okay so here's a Galena outcrop this is actually an outcrop and that brings up another issue. RNG nodes. It used to be you were guaranteed to get something like either silver or gold from a node. Now, eh, there's a chance you might get silver, but you might also get titanium, like there. There's a chance I might get gold. Oop, got that one. Fortunately. Okay, so look, this is a false positive. It says Galena outcrop, and yet it's an Argentite outcrop. It's a completely different element. And I can't remove that false positive. The game is still, the scan room is still recognizing this as a Galena outcrop, even though it was the wrong element, and now there's nothing there. So that's, that's a really annoying thing that is occurring. Oh, here's another. Look, it shows two Galena outcrops. There's nothing there. These scan rooms are are broken. Here's a third one. It it's providing a lot of false positives and mislabeling elements. So, oh, I got one piece of lead. Great. So here's another one. This is actually a Galena outcrop titanium because of that RNG mechanic. Here's another Galena outcrop. Great. Oh, actually got lead from that one. That's good. I'd say it's like a 50-50 chance when you actually get a real positive. Oh, this is... Yeah, there's nothing there. A 50-50 chance... What the heck? Yeah, again, there's nothing there. And... Nothing there. Okay, so I'm going to go back in. So after going to all those different Galena outcrop sites, or what the scan group said were Galena outcrop sites. Let me get up here. Welcome aboard, Captain. I've got only two pieces of lead. 
this is this is broken so yeah this is one of the reasons one of the main reasons i'm saying subnautica below zero is it's an average game it's okay but in this instance it, it's just broken so again wait till it goes on sale hopefully they'll patch it um considering it's been out on pc for two years and this is how they release it on console with uh, broken scan rooms i i don't know i don't know if unknown world entertainment is gonna fix this i've contacted them about this using the feedback menu and um i haven't gotten any response so it's something to be aware of if you want to play the game um, parts of the game, such as the scan room, are broken. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps.